Okay guys, what is going on? I just finished making my character. His name is Blandris, and uh, apparently that's offensive. You had to pick a secondary name, so his secondary name is going to be Saber. And that's how he looks. He looks pretty standard. Um, so yeah, it took me a little while. I don't want to bore you guys with it, so let's go ahead and continue with the story. I'm ready to play! I've been ready, guys. There's no way I'm reading all that by the time it loads. So if you want to read it, go ahead and pause the video. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh, I'm Mad Man Robbie. Oh, there I am. There's me. Strolling around the island. I did make a completely new character. Whoa! What is with that guy's face? Um, anyway, I made a new character, um, so if you're watching the trailer and you're like, what the heck, why isn't he the same? The guy in the trailer was actually my very first hero, and I beat the game with him. And when I did a new game, I thought I'd make a new guy, so that's why. I can't get over how ugly that one guard was. What the heck. I'd be out of there. <laughs> I'd be so out of there already. <laughs> Look how big that thing is. Gosh, man. There was absolutely no way I would still be there. Wow, my guy has some serious balls. Look how big that thing is! Whoa! Got me a Mortal Kombat gore going on. I'm gonna just climb in and start hacking away. That didn't go as well as I'd hoped. How'd that get there?
That's pretty harsh. Robbie, I am recording right now. Didn't know you would know that, but I am recording right now. That's the only reason I'm not answering you. I'm sorry. I kind of heal it up uh, pretty remarkably quick. That's good. We're only our hero dying yet. I think my guy's actually pretty cool. He's better than my first uh, try at recording. He had like a really weird like circle head. It was so like off-putting. I couldn't place it at first, and then I, I was just like, "That's not gonna fly." Here it looked really weird. Your vocation determines your basic attributes, suitable equipment, and skills. So like fighter, strider, and the mage. Well, I know mages are really good in this game, and they kind of make it easy, so I won't be playing that. I played Striders uh, the first time I beat the game, so I'm gonna go with Fighter. Yes, I take the vocation of the Fighter. So you can equip yourself with a primary and secondary weapon. Primary weapons such as swords and daggers are combat essential. Secondary weapons like bows and shields offer support. Okay. Um, exit the room. Well, hang, hang on now, let me explore a little bit. You got an empty flask, and I fill it here. What is this? Okay. Anything worth looting in here? Guys, I got a rock! We are set. And a blank scroll. And a jug. Oh! I just hit the guy in the face. Dang. He's trying to sleep. I just busted a pot on his head. Sorry, bro. Why did I just like creep up on her? That was kind of off putting. Being a foe's completing quests earns you experience, and each level gained raises all your attributes. Press the start to bring up the pause menu where you can check your attributes, a full map, quest information, and more. Okay, I can dig that. What is this? A flask of oil. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. Gifts. Healing item. <laughs> There's actually a lot of stuff in this game that people don't realize. Like, you can have friends on here. You can, you know, craft items. You can basically get really, really good rewards if you do these really difficult quests. And some of them aren't difficult, like, difficult-wise. They're difficult because, you know, 
you maybe have to find a really rare enemy and kill it multiple times, and you'll get this like, really good item. It's a lot of really interesting stuff, and I'll try not to do anything off camera. I'll try to make it like a hardcore let's play. So I'm not gonna be like boosting levels or anything when you guys are away, unless you know it's like an unbeatable position. I may need to get stronger. I don't want to bore you guys killing random enemies. But I'll let you know if I do end up having to do that. Fisherman's house. Hey, dude. Sorry, I just busted into like your back door. Okay. Well, bye. I just busted into your house and took something. I'm pretty sure I have my own house. I think this is it. My house. I remember that um, just by the last time I beat the game. Carrot. I never knew a character actually existed in this game. I completely forgot. They're pretty pointless, but at least they exist. Then they give you health. Oh, it's Pablo's in. There's notice boards across Granger's advertised quests, errands, and favors you can choose to undertake. Reclaim the roads. Goblin raid. Rat catcher. He should be so lucky. That's easy. Kill five rabbits, and this is kill ten goblins. Knowing that I'm gonna meet rabbits and goblins like no other, why not take the quest now? Okay, I should probably yeah, change up my equipment. You can restore health and stamina and advance the passage of time to any inn or rest of spot. Buy some stuff now. Iron sword. That's a lot better than what I have right now, isn't it? Iron shield. Wooden bands. Talisman bands. I think talisman. Okay, there we go. Yep, I'll change my equipment right now, actually. Oh, I do have some crap to sell already. I didn't realize that. I'm gonna sell my useless weapon. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna sell this because it's pointless. Sell that, sell that. Sell that. No way I need those. Um. Yeah, I just I picked up some random jug. I don't think I need that. Okay. Nice. I never did this, uh, when I played the first time, so, like, I had, like, really crappy gear for, like, a long time. I was getting destroyed. I'll buy some of that, and I'll buy these two. There we go. Yes, I'll change my equipment right now. This is like, this is like RPG adventure, like 101, buying gear and, you know, Looking kind of like a noob. But you get better eventually. <laughs> I was laughing because my guy looked kind of angry. Oh, 
on what's up. Apparently that was supposed to, he was supposed to look at his heart. No. for the encampment. Okay, Rook, are you just gonna follow me then? Well, I already did buy equipment, so we're good. You're already set. Um, guys, if you send me a message and it pops up, you know, when I'm recording, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to reply when I'm recording. That's not to be mean. That's just because I don't want to interrupt the uh, game and whatnot. There's a rabbit! I need to kill it. I'm sorry, rabbits. But I must gain your... I must kill five of you to gain $500. For no reason, apparently. There's another one. No, just a really creepy goblin, like, waiting in the woods. There we go. He dropped the goblin horn. Oh! Double kill. Nice, I'm already at level 2. You're not supposed to level up until, like, actually, right here. They're just owning that guy, holy cow. I got a tree was like, no, it's too violent. Censor it. Oh! I guess so, why are you yelling so much? When foes seem too much to handle, try gaining gain levels, obtain better equipment. He doesn't have a cart or anything, so... Oh! He gave me a cape, isn't he nice? Our guy is just set now. Look at him. You may see peddlers hawking their wares, okay. Often come across rare items not found at any stationary shops. If you see a peddler, make sure to check what they have to offer. Come here, rabbit. <laughs> what a hero. <laughs> just grab a rabbit and throw him off cliffs. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see it do like a freaking like barrel roll? Oh, that's so dumb. I don't even know why I did that. I just knew you could, and I was like, whatever. What a random thing to do in this let's play. You know, your guy is like gonna go kill a dragon, but on the way, he grabs a rabbit and throws it off a cliff. What a boss. Oh, nice. We did reach. We came across the encampment. Attacking others or being a nuisance will gain you nothing but enemies. Yes, creepy ghost man. Or woman. I can hear your voice. I know the way too, Rook. So please shut your mouth and let me do my thing. 
you've forgotten where you are in the story, select Chronicle from the pause menu to review a history of your journey thus far. Really? You're gonna ask me that again? After I came here, obviously hearing your voice? Okay. I do like like the old language, but it's kind of off-putting sometimes. Pray ye heed thine warning, yell he adventurer. Like that is just kind of. Uh, That's why I stopped playing two worlds too. I couldn't stand it. It was like pray he ye ye old hail tavern ye venture. I was like nope, done. And in two worlds, the guy always stared like cross-eyed, like he had a like, Down syndrome. I was like okay. I'll never play two worlds again. I'll play two worlds too, maybe to make fun of it, but. Whoa! What was it the friendly fire going on in the background? That guard just stabbing the other guards. I don't know if you guys saw that. Jeez, man. Drive off the threat. Yep, that sounds pretty reasonable. I'm gonna kill the goblins first. Hopefully I'll kill enough to fulfill that quest. Please stay away from me, Mr. Cyclops. He doesn't feel to destroy me. Look how big he is. Whoa. <laughs> you get attack while clinging to bows. Jeez, I haven't been able to do anything, my guy's just trying to hold on for dear life. Yeah, I'm gonna draw. If you run out of that orange meteor, your guy will be like exhausted, he won't be able to do anything, and you know, the enemies can just get free hits on you. I like it because it makes it a little more in depth. In my last playthrough, a rook jumped up on the Cyclops, and the Cyclops. Dang! I actually take damage, the amount of health. I think I explained that to you guys before. Um, but yeah, Rook climbed up on the Cyclops last time I played, and the Cyclops punched him off of that ledge right there and killed him. I thought that was pretty crazy. It fell off. I didn't see it. Oh, and it dropped all of its treasure down there. Dang. Okay, Rook, it's all your fault. Go collect that treasure down there. Eh, whatever. Webs. No, Rook, you put that upon yourself. Oh, and I had the nicest hero ever. First, I throw rabbits off cliffs, then I throw my companions off cliffs. Fine, Rook. Just gonna be a baby. Oh, yes, Echo. This is basically, it's just like he's the uh, innkeeper. You know, he'll give you... 
player. That is awesome. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video. Um, I'm going to have to create another character. He's going to be like my support character. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, and hopefully I'll just see you guys in the next one. Peace.